Hello, my name is Dr. Derek Haas. I am a reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialist practicing here in Dallas, Texas. I kind of stumbled into uh, becoming a fertility doctor in some ways. Um, I was doing a, a third year medical school that does all these rotations and I had done internal medicine first and I was like, oh, I really like endocrinology, like the thyroid, the diabetes and all that. And I actually didn't do OB-GYN rotation until very late into my third year. And I did that and I was like, wait a minute, this is actually much more fun. So, um, so then I went into an OB-GYN residency and then during that training, um, you, you do a, a rotation in reproductive endocrinology and infertility. And so it was like the best of both worlds because I got to do some of the endocrinology and I got to do the OB-GYN at the same time. So it was kind of a perfect fit for me. It's important to bring in, uh, awareness to infertility because people can feel so isolated and alone. So they feel like what they're struggling through this, they're on some island and there's no one around to support them. And so it's important that we talk about it so that people people know about it. They, they know that they are not the only ones struggling with this. Um, and of course here as both the physicians and the staff, we like to support our patients and you know support them in any way we can, not just doing the medical stuff, but also emotionally supporting them. Um, it's important for them to really reach out to people in their life, uh, you know, their, their friends, their family, their, if, you, if, you know, if you just ask for help, a lot of times you will get plenty of help. Um, you just need to ask for it first. Um, also, you can go on social media and, um, and find someone who's going through the same struggle as you, and then, then you, you know you're not gonna be alone. And then of course, we have counselors that we can also refer patients to. Some of my, I would say a helpful tip would be Take baby steps, which kind of sounds funny, but um, you know, like if you try to absorb all the problems that you're trying to solve all at once, it can be completely overwhelming. So I think it's important always to just kind of break things up into small little, small, tiny little problems that you can solve at one time. Like let's just, let's get through the diagnostic testing and see where that's at. And then once that's over, let's get, let's go through a plan. So not try to solve all your problems all at once. Um, another thing I like to tell people is to um, take care of yourself and be basically be kind to yourself. Like don't don't beat yourself up because your body is not responding exactly like you want it to. You know you have to kind of in some ways roll with the punches. You know you have to be you know be kind to yourself. This is something that's just very temporary that 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 almost everyone gets through somehow. So I think it's important that you take care of yourself during the process.